Hey everyone, welcome back. Polestar integration with Tesla Supercharger, a major boost for the EV adoption in the USA and Canada. So this is some big news. In fact, I'd say this is the worst kept secret because a day or two before, Volvo announced that uh, the Volvo electric vehicles would be switching to the Tesla Supercharger adoption. And those of us who are familiar with Polestar, of course, we were quite certain that this would happen at some point. So it was a little bit of a surprise to see that it wasn't announced at the same time as Volvo News. However, I think this was very strategic by Volvo and Polestar to sort of separate the brand, especially to gain Polestar its own recognition for switching the adoption. But it was quite obvious that both companies were going to do this. So I wrote an article on this. You can check out the article on our website, Monument. A link will be in the description below. And it says here, Polestar has come to an agreement with Tesla that they will allow their drivers located in Canada and the USA to access the Tesla supercharger network by utilizing the North American charging standards. That's the NACS. This is all starting in 2025. North American Polestar vehicles will come with pre-installed NACS charging port. To facilitate connectivity for current Polestar drivers, adapters are anticipated to be released in mid-2024. Now, we've got a quote from Polestar CEO, that's Thomas Ingleth, and I quote, This is a great win for our North American customers. We salute the pioneering work Tesla has done to speed up the adoption and to increase the popularity of electric vehicles, and it's great to see the supercharger network being made available in this way. With 12,000 charging points today, a number that could only keep growing, this move will greatly increase the rate of EV adoption in a key automotive region, say Thomas Ingolf. Now to maintain compatibility with existing CCS infrastructure in North America, further NACS equipped Polestar vehicles will come with a CCS adapter. So that's the Polestar bit of news. Now we've got Volvo as well, who's also announced this. And like I said, this was days apart. I wrote this article for Volvo on June the 28th. So you can check out this article as well. It says, Volvo joins the EV revolution by embracing Tesla supercharging universal charge port. So from 2025, Volvo electric cars will take advantage of the NACS port, meaning they will be able to connect to Tesla's expansive supercharger network. Volvo has made the decision to utilize Tesla charging port with which will allow access to their vast supercharger network. This is known as a North American charging standard, and it will be present in Volvo's electric cars starting from 2025. For those with existing models, year 2021 will bring an adapter. They're the first foreign car maker to announce such a change following the footsteps of Ford, GM, and Rivian. I think this is the appropriate move for Volvo and for Polestar, of course. It makes sense. And I'd like to see Volvo and Polestar also develop their own charging network across Canada, North America, South America, and European countries, African countries, Asia as well. It'll be good because the more we have, the better. We can't all depend on Tesla. And it's not very good to depend on Tesla as well because history has proven that depending on another manufacturer sometimes isn't the best way to go, especially when one's buying an, an EV vehicle. Tesla will always make sure that the Tesla vehicles work better with the Tesla superchargers. Every other manufacturer comes secondary. And I've never owned an EV, never used a Tesla supercharger, so I really don't know the experience. However, depending on another, especially infrastructure-wise, sometimes isn't always the best plan long-term. I think long-term, there will obviously be other companies such as EVgo, ChargePoint. They, they're still developing their charging infrastructure, but you've got companies like Rivian who are developing their own independent charging infrastructure. And I think Rivians will be able to use other charging infrastructure because Rivian also adapted to the North American charging standard. That's the known as the Tesla charging standards. So Rivian has its own and they've adopted to Teslas as well. So you can do both, but I think it would be smart if Polestar and Volvo also develop their own charging infrastructure. If Polestar plans to be the next, the next Porsche or the next Aldi, we're expecting Volvo to be the next Tesla, to be able to compete with Tesla. They just announced a $30,000 vehicle. 
That's the Volvo EX30. And that is truly, truly revolutionary for the EV market. This is said vehicle, sorry, 35,000. Although there will be cheaper versions coming in the future, such as 32,000, possibly even 31,000. And some people might say, well, there's not a big difference between 35,000 and 32,000. To you, there might not be a big difference, but to an average buyer, it could make a huge difference. 3,000, 4,000 could make a big difference. That's a difference of a deposit. You know, that's a difference of a monthly payment that you'll be making. That could be a difference of 100 pounds or 75 pounds. It could be a difference to some people, perhaps not to you, but to some. So this is a great change in electric vehicle charging is accelerating with more and more car producing, consenting to employ Tesla exclusive North American charging standards. Most recently, Volvo relieve, most recently Volvo reveal an agreement with Tesla to implement its USA based charging technology. Starting in 2025, Volvo's all electric will be equipped with a NAC port, allowing them to tap into Tesla expansive supercharger network across Canada, Mexico, and the United States. The charging system currently contains over 12,000 fast chargers and is expected to keep expanding. It was Jim Rowan, Volvo CEO, who noted that access to convenient charging infrastructure is a major inhibitor of more people making the switch to electric driving an important step towards creating more sustainable transport systems. Just take a look at that. That is the Volvo EX30, $35,000 vehicle, fully electric by the way. So owners of pre-NACS models shouldn't worry as the company has announced an adapter will be available for their vehicles to connect to Tesla chargers. This includes all current EVs in Volvo lineup, the EX40 recharge, the C40 recharge, newly unveiled EX30, and the upcoming three-row EX90. Volvo is slowly but surely building out their fully electric fleet. Volvo has announced that the CCS to NACS adapter will be available during the first half of 2024. That's next year. The price is yet to be determined, and the automaker also intends to provide a NACS to CCS adapter for those wanting to charge their vehicle batteries with this style of charging from 2025 onwards. Volvo is the first overseas manufacturer to vow to utilize Tesla charging port with US automaker 4GM and Rivian, and now of course, Polestar of course proceeding. So a discussion indicates that Hyundai and Stellantis could be the next one to embrace the NACS technology. I'm already surprised BMW, Mercedes, VW are not already made some announcement on this. Or is VW and Audi and BMW, Mercedes already using that standard? I'm not too sure, but it did say that you know, Volvo is the first overseas manufacturer outside of the American continent to make such an announcement along with Polestar. Great move, great strategic move by Polestar and Volvo, of course. It was quite obvious and it, it's, it's quite obvious that it's the, it's, it's the right move to make. With the amount of superchargers that Tesla have, if you can tell your customers that now you can charge your vehicles at Tesla superchargers, Polestar vehicles will sell more, Volvo vehicles will sell more, win, win. But that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in our next video.